Precision agriculture principles have proven an effective way to reduce fertiliser inputs with no penalty on yields for Katanning farmer Gray Robertson. In 2009, Mr Robertson took the first step to implementing variable rate technology in his cropping operation by undertaking electromagnetic surveys and yield mapping of his paddocks. The technology could then precisely match his fertiliser needs to his soil types. EM38 survey across the whole farm identified roughly about 70% of the uh, farm on area uh, was what I'd call the sort of probably poorer soil types that whilst they were still productive uh, they weren't uh, capable of being your, your super soil types if you like no matter what you did to them because they are limited by uh, rooting depth. Knowing that uh, I wanted to optimise my profitability on those soil types uh, knowing that my upper yield levels were going to be constrained, therefore there's no point in pouring lots of gold onto uh, these areas. So the process was basically to enable me to match my inputs better to my expected yields. Mr Robertson spoke about variable rate technology from a farmer's perspective at a recent Southern Dirt Regional Crop Update, an event supported by the Grains Research and Development Corporation and the Department of Agriculture and Food WA. The GRDC has encouraged the adoption of variable rate technology to manage crops grown on hostile soils throughout Western Australia. In his environment, Mr Robertson says a key outcome of VRT has been better application of nitrogen. Fortunately, we do have a very good superphosphate history here. The uh, P levels on just about all my sites are above minimum. N's a bit more complicated. The problem is I don't have a legume in the rotation, so I'm, I'm very uh, dependent on applied nitrogen and again I'm tending to, rec to direct that into my better soil types. I've moved over to liquid N instead of urea which will uh, mean that uh, my boom spray can do all the uh, variable rate N applications. The savings made so far to the farm fertiliser budgets have made the exercise very rewarding. It's very hard to quantify because it's not a controlled study in any sense but uh, certainly in the first uh, couple of years I uh, estimate that I paid for all my expenditure outright. I, I estimate probably uh, anywhere between 12 and 25 percent of my fertiliser budget was saved in those in, per year with, with no, no effect, impact on yields.